The Universal Greeting Hi! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Start Here with Jefferson YouTube channel. About Start Here with Jefferson Hi, my name is Jefferson. You are on a journey because life is a journey, not a destination. It doesn't matter where you are going, it's whom you have beside you. You are ready for the journey, but you need a trustworthy guide for this journey. You need a mentor to show you the way. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can achieve more. Let's go on the journey together. Start here with Jefferson. My purpose is to guide and lead you so you can attract and magnetize key people, key moments, key opportunities, key blessings, key resources, and key ideas that will propel you to your place of destiny. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolute no limits, what would you choose to have and what would you choose to do? Start here. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The hardest part of any journey is taking the first step. The unexamined life is not worth living. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolutely no limits, what will you choose to have and what will you choose to do? What are your goals in life? Whom do you admire most in the world and why do you admire them? What is your purpose in life? Where are you coming from and where are you going to? Change is necessary for continued growth. Where there is no change, there is no life. Your growth is the key to the life you desire. Your growth is the only guarantee that tomorrow will get better. My desire is to help you develop the right mental attitude to discover your true strength so you can tap into your passion to grow and become successful in your endeavors. Welcome to the start here with Inspiration 365. The start here with Inspiration 365 playlist on our YouTube channel, Start Here with Jefferson, offers a unique resource for those seeking motivation and inspiration in their daily lives. Our playlist features a diverse range of quotes from various sources, providing a broad perspective that can help you navigate life's challenges and pursue your goals with renewed enthusiasm. What sets our playlist apart is our approach to exploring the quotes beyond mere recitation. We've divided our insights on the quotes into different sections, such as the guide, the judgment, the key, the inspired quote, the thoughts, the application, the image, the authority, the potential reversal, and the conclusion. By doing so, we aim to equip you with a more profound understanding of the quotes and practical advice for applying their lessons in your daily life. Our structured approach to the playlist makes it easier for you to follow along and comprehend the message we're conveying. Additionally, it shows that we've put considerable thought and effort into curating the playlist, which can foster trust with you and our audience. Overall, Start Here with Inspiration 365 playlist is a valuable resource for anyone seeking inspiration and motivation in their lives, and we strive to continue offering high-quality content to our viewers. The title for this episode Gratitude and Appreciation 
about gratitude and appreciation. Gratitude and appreciation are important attitudes to cultivate in life. Being grateful means acknowledging and valuing the good things in our lives, whether they are big or small. When we focus on what we are thankful for, we tend to feel more positive emotions, such as joy, contentment, and peace. Additionally, practicing gratitude has been shown to have numerous benefits, such as improving our relationships, reducing stress, and boosting our overall well-being. Appreciation is like gratitude, in that, it involves recognizing the value of something or someone. When we appreciate something, we give it our attention and recognize its worth. Appreciation can also lead to positive emotions and a greater sense of well-being. Ultimately, cultivating gratitude and appreciation can help us lead happier and more fulfilling lives. When we make gratitude and appreciation a daily habit, we notice more of the good things in our lives and become more resilient in the face of challenges. By taking the time to express our gratitude and appreciation to others, we can also strengthen our relationships and bring more positivity into the world around us. About this week's seven authors. This week's inspirational quotes on gratitude and appreciation have some amazing authors lined up. Ian Lana Van Zandt, Zig Ziglar, Melody Beattie, Voltaire, Germany Kent, brother David Steindl-Rast, and Tony Robbins. Each of these authors has a unique perspective on the power of gratitude and appreciation, and their words can inspire us to cultivate these attitudes in our own lives. Whether it's recognizing the abundance in our lives, being thankful for the people who support us, or finding joy in the present moment, their quotes can remind us of the importance of living with a grateful heart. Today's subtitle The subtitle for today's Start Here with Inspiration 365 is Gratitude and Appreciation. Part 1 of 7 Today's quotation The author of today's quote is Ayala Vansant. Quote When we focus on what we are grateful for, we create more of it. Unquote. About the author of today's quote Ayala Vansant is an American inspirational speaker spiritual teacher, author, and television personality. She was born in Brooklyn, New York, in 1953, and grew up in a family plagued by poverty, abuse, and dysfunction. After facing many personal challenges, including divorce and bankruptcy, Vanzant turned her life around and began teaching others how to overcome their own struggles. She has written numerous books on topics such as personal growth, spirituality, and relationships, including the bestsellers in the meantime and one day my soul just opened up. Vanzant is also the host of the television show Ayan La, Fix My Life, where she helps people confront and overcome their personal challenges. Her teachings emphasize the importance of self-love, forgiveness, and personal responsibility as a means of healing and growth. The Judgment The quote is an expression of the power of gratitude in shaping our mindset and our experiences. However, it's essential to recognize that gratitude will not be a solution to all of life's challenges, and the quote may have limitations in certain contexts. One potential criticism of the quote is that it may not be universal and may be limited to those who have the privilege of being able to focus on what they are grateful for. For individuals who are facing systemic challenges such as poverty, discrimination or marginalization, focusing on gratitude may be difficult and may not necessarily lead to an improvement 
in their circumstances. Furthermore, while gratitude can be a powerful tool in shaping our mindset and our experiences, it's important to recognize that it's not a substitute for action. Simply being grateful for what we have does not necessarily mean that we are taking the necessary steps to improve our lives or the lives of others. The key. The key message of the quote is that by focusing on what we are grateful for, we can create more positive experiences in our lives. Gratitude is a powerful tool for cultivating a positive mindset and building resilience in the face of adversity. It encourages us to focus on the good in our lives rather than the challenges. When we focus on the good, it can help us to feel more optimistic and hopeful about the future. The quote also embodies the values of mindfulness and presence. By focusing on what you are grateful for, you are brought into the present moment and reminded of the blessings that are already present in your life. This can help you to feel more connected to yourself, to others, and to the world around you. The Application The quote can be applied to everyday life in several ways. One practical application is to create a daily gratitude practice. This can involve taking a few minutes each day to reflect on what you are grateful for and writing down your thoughts in a journal. By making gratitude a regular part of your daily routine, you can cultivate a more positive mindset and build resilience in the face of challenges. Another way to apply the code is to use it as a tool for reframing challenges. When we face difficulties in life, it can be easy to focus on what is going wrong and to feel overwhelmed by the negative aspects of the situation. By shifting our focus to what we are grateful for, we can begin to see the situation in a more positive light and find solutions that are aligned with our values and goals. Finally, the code can be applied in the context of relationships. By expressing gratitude to others for their contributions, we can build stronger more positive relationships that are based on mutual respect and appreciation. The image. The quote uses the image of a magnifying glass to convey its message. When you focus on what you are grateful for, you are magnifying the positive aspects of your life and amplifying the impact. The image also conveys the idea that what we focus on expands. By focusing on gratitude, we are creating a positive feedback loop that reinforces our sense of well-being and creates more positive experiences in our lives. Finally, the image of the magnifying glass can also be interpreted as a call to action. By focusing on what we are grateful for, we are encouraged to take action to create more positive experiences in our lives and in the world around us. The Potential Reversal When you focus on what you are grateful for, you create more of it, which involves considering how the message of the code might be reversed or contradicted in certain contexts. While gratitude is generally seen as a positive and desirable trait, 
there are situations in which focusing on what you are grateful for might not be the most helpful or appropriate approach. While it is important to cultivate gratitude and appreciation in life, it is also important to acknowledge and address negative experiences. Focusing solely on what we are grateful for might lead us to ignore or minimize the negative experiences that we face. For example, if someone is experiencing chronic pain, it might not be helpful for them to constantly focus on being grateful for the things they can still do. Instead, they might need to acknowledge and address the pain to find ways to manage or treat it. There is a danger in promoting the idea that we should always focus on the positive and be grateful for what we have, no matter what. This can lead to what is known as toxic positivity, where people feel pressure to suppress their negative emotions and put on a happy face, even when they are struggling. This can lead to feelings of guilt, shame and isolation, and can prevent people from seeking the help and support they need. The idea that focusing on gratitude creates more of it assumes that everyone has equal access to opportunities and resources. However, this is not always the case. For example, people who experience systemic inequality, such as racism or poverty, might not have access to the same opportunities or resources as others. Asking them to focus on what they are grateful for might overlook the structural barriers and inequalities. The conclusion In conclusion, Ayala Vansant's quote emphasizes the power of gratitude in shaping our experiences and outcomes. By directing our attention to what we appreciate and value, we have the ability to attract and manifest more of those positive elements in our lives. Practicing gratitude can serve as a transformative tool, helping us to cultivate a mindset of abundance and inviting greater joy, fulfillment, and success. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your support and I'm grateful for each and every one of you who watches and engages with my content. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you are interested in even more content, check out my channels, The Sure Word for Today, Robots Digital Expert, and Start Here with Jefferson. You can find links to all of them in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.